I have learned that one is never too young to seek and receive a personal testimony of the Book of Mormon. There is a personal lesson for you in Mary's story. Each of you young men, young women, and children can have the same feeling she did. When you read the Book of Mormon and pray with a desire to know it is true, you too can receive the same impression in your heart that Mary received. You may also find that as you stand and bear witness of the Book of Mormon, you'll feel the same spirit of confirmation. The Holy Ghost will speak to your heart. You can also feel the same spirit of confirmation when you hear others share their testimony of the Book of Mormon. Each of these spiritual witnesses can lead to the Book of Mormon becoming the keystone of your testimony. Let me explain. The prophet Joseph Smith, who translated the Book of Mormon through the gift and power of God, described the Book of Mormon as the most correct of any book on earth and the keystone of our religion. Since the Book of Mormon's first printing in 1830, more than 174 million copies have been published in 110 different languages, demonstrating that the Book of Mormon is still the keystone of our religion. But what does this mean to each of you? Well, in architectural terms, a keystone is a main element in an arched gateway. It is the wedge-shaped stone at the very center and at the highest point of an arch. It is the most important of the stones because it keeps the sides of the arch in place, preventing collapse. And it is the structural element that assures that the gate or opening below is passable. In gospel terms, it is a gift and blessing from the Lord that the keystone of our religion is something as tangible and graspable as the Book of Mormon, and that you can hold it and read it. Can you see the Book of Mormon as your keystone, your spiritual center of strength? President Ezra Taft Benson expanded on these teachings of Joseph Smith. He said, quote, There are three ways in which the Book of Mormon is the keystone of our religion. It is the keystone of our witness of Christ. It is the keystone of our, of our doctrine. It is the keystone of testimony. President Benson further taught, The Book of Mormon teaches us truth and bears testimony of Christ. But there is something more. There is a power in the book which will begin to flow into your lives the moment you begin a serious study of the book. You will find greater power to resist temptation. You will find the power to stay on the straight and narrow path. Close quote. In order to help the Book of Mormon become the keystone of your testimony, I offer you a challenge. I recently learned that many young people spend an average of seven hours a day looking at TV, computer, and smartphone screens. With this in mind, would you make a small change? Will you replace some of that daily screen time? particularly that devoted to social media, the internet, gaming, or television, with reading the Book of Mormon. If the studies I referred to are accurate, you could easily find time for daily study of the Book of Mormon, even if for only 10 minutes a day. And you can study it in a way that allows you to enjoy it and understand it, either on your device or in book form. President Russell M. Nelson recently cautioned, we should never make reading the Book of Mormon seem like an onerous duty, like the gulping of nasty medicine to be swallowed quickly and then checked off with finality. 